I wanna show you guys exactly how you deal with the copper because the first thing the copper is gonna do, he's gonna come up and want your license, your registration and proof of insurance. Oh, shut up. I, I, oh yes, yes ma'am, I don't, I don't mean to talk, I just thought. License and registration, please. He's gonna want those three things right away. And so what I want you to do, I want you to have everything ready to go for the filthy copper. Laminate a copy of your driver's license front and back, your insurance and registration card, put it on a laminated slip and it goes inside your trifold above your visor. Use the touchdown position. Hand goes on the seat over here as you film. This hand goes up, grabs the trifold, your driver's license, registration, proof of insurance. Everything that you do with the cop, you show the camera first. So what's the first thing you do when you see a copper? You start recording and your hands, look at my hands. So you film like this, you hold your hands up in the touchdown position. Then when you copper pulls you over, reach up, grab your trifold, your laminated driver's license, proof of registration, insurance. Right there, cop says, hey, can I get your driver's license, registration, proof of insurance? You pull it down and you hand it to him. There it is. Now he has my license, registration, proof of insurance. He says, hey, where are you going? Where are you coming from now? Well, I'm just trying to figure out where you're coming from, where you're going, mess like that. Perfect. Now you grab your trifold out the top, you point at the trifold where it says, I plead the Fifth Amendment. You show it to the cop and you say, I plead the Fifth Amendment, officer. DUI checkpoint right here. So remember, you want to use your trifold right away. You don't want to, you don't want to put yourself in a position where you have to answer questions. Hey, how's it going, sir? I invoke my fifth amendment right to remain silent. All right, have a good night. Yep. I've invoked my fifth amendment right. I showed it to the camera. This footage is gonna to go to the judge when I sue you. As soon as I hand him this, where are you coming from? Where are you going? What are you doing? Who'd you date when you were in 11th grade? Eat my shorts, copper. Stop harassing me. I've already invoked my fifth amendment right. I have a right to counsel if you're gonna question me. You don't see my lawyer here with me, do you? Hey folks, welcome back. Just a few words about the Fifth Amendment, in particular taking the Fifth or pleading the Fifth when you go to court, for example. There's a lot of facets to the Fifth Amendment, but in particular we're focusing on your right to basically shut your mouth. Effectively, and quoting it directly, no person shall be compelled in any criminal case to be a witness against himself. What the hell does that mean? It means shut your mouth, because the law says that you can. When you are arrested, anyone ever been arrested, really arrested? They, they, and they so-called Mirandize you, what does the Miranda statement say? It says you have the right to do what? You have the right to remain silent. Why? Because anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. That's your Fifth Amendment. Anything that you say, they will find a way to work it in, to use it against you or someone else. Fifth Amendment says, because that can and likely will happen, you have a right, as a citizen, to shut the hell up. Do not answer questions to cops. What's wrong with you? You don't have YouTube. You don't have TikTok. You don't have Instagram. You don't have Facebook. You haven't seen that once you start the back and forth with the copper, you're going to go to jail. And the torture cuffs. They're going to bound you up like this. Your arm's going to be stuck. Yay, what did I do? There's that guy on YouTube always talking about, you know, don't talk to cops. I was going to talk my way out of this. And now I'm going to the dungeon. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's a stigma surrounding pleading the fifth or taking the fifth because thanks to the media, it's assumed by most people that when you take the Fifth Amendment, plead the Fifth Amendment, that you're guilty, you're a criminal, that pleading the fifth is something that criminals do to get around the law. And nothing could be further from the truth. Uh, people, unfortunately, really don't understand what it is and what it means, especially young people, because civics isn't taught in schools anymore. I want people to learn, you don't talk to coppers. You don't talk to coppers. Are you listening to what I'm saying to you? Cop pulls you over, trifold comes out from the trifold, boom, and it says, I plead the fifth. You show your camera, I plead the fifth. You give the copper your little trifold. This is, I plead the fifth. He says, where are you going? You say, I plead the fifth. It says it on the trifold. Cop says, can I search your car? Sure, you can search my car, go ahead. He starts to search it, I revoke consent. It's on my trifold, United States versus Williams. I revoke consent.
there's not enough drug dogs to get there in time or they violate Rodriguez versus United States 2015. So fair enough. You have anything illegal in the car? Nope. Okay. You have any weapons in the car? Nope. You would consent to search your car? Nope. I knew that was coming. All right, take that. Patrick denies the officer's consent to search his vehicle, and without consent, in order to search a car, an officer needs probable cause that you have committed some crime other than the traffic violation. But in this case, there is no probable cause, and it appears as though the officer extends the stop needlessly to wait for a canine unit. In the Supreme Court case of Rodriguez v. United States, the court held that unless police have reasonable suspicion of a crime, it is an unconstitutional seizure for them to extend a legal traffic stop in order to conduct a dog sniff. A freer sniff at a traffic stop is considered a search within the Fourth Amendment, and that requires probable cause. But the police cannot use a drug dog to obtain that probable cause unless they already have reasonable suspicion. The officer's authority to hold you up at your vehicle ends once their tasks tied to the traffic stop are or reasonably should have been finished. And now, nearly 10 minutes later, a canine unit arrives. Hey man, I'm Deputy Mollard with Constable's Office. What's your name? Deputy what? Mollard with Constable's Office. Mollard. What's your name? Patrick. Patrick, okay. Uh, I believe my partner's already talked to you a little bit. Um, are you going to give us consent to search your vehicle? No. No? Okay. All right. That being the case, I have a certified narcotics detection account, okay? I'm going to walk him around for a free or center of the vehicle. Is there anything you want to make me aware of right now? Not at all. Okay. You use that trifold like it's a piano that you're playing. It'll keep you safe from the piggies. Whatever it takes, we're gonna get you. We've got helicopters, we've got dogs, we've got radios, and we've got a lot of people. And the numbers are stacked against you. You gotta get used to this. You gotta get used to mincing the words you use properly because they're trying to mince words with you to arrest you, steal your car, kidnap you, and put you in a frickin' dungeon. As if we needed another example to be quiet when the cops are asking questions. Stop saying anything. Take the fifth. You have an unalienable right to be silent and to not incriminate yourself. Go ahead and use it. And this is just one example where when a cop asks you a question, be quiet. Zip your lip. Say nothing at all. Don't give them, you don't have to give them a bad attitude. Don't have to cuss them out. And you definitely don't have to answer questions. One of the first things he's going to tell you when he gets into get you into custody according to the Miranda rights is the very first thing you have the right. You have the unalienable right to remain silent. If you don't use it, it's going to work against you. Any word that comes out of your mouth will be grabbed by the tyrant officer and it will be used to prove that you're a criminal and that they are a hero. Listen to this. When was the last time you smoked any weed? Um, I don't smoke. That's, I don't know if that was the answer to the question I asked. And I don't feel like it was truthful. Right. Um, I, mean, I, I smoke like a pen, but I don't have There we go. Okay, see, so. I know you're right, I should not So, lie. so when, when you're like, uh, let me think of an answer. I know. You know because I get lied to for a living, I immediately knew that you were being knowingly untruthful. Shut up. When was the last time you smoked? Uh, two and a half hours ago. Okay. All right, I'm gonna give that to you there. What's the uh, what's the percentage of your uh, your vape? Uh, it's like super low, like I think it's like 65. What's he saying? I've got THC in my system. Go ahead and test me, cause I'm gonna be guilty. I wish that wasn't true. I wish this wasn't my business. I really wish that I had no trifold business where I didn't sell a trifold to make a living because so many people didn't have to worry about their rights being violated. Everybody has got to have a trifold in your car. You have to have a trifold in every single car that you have. Your biggest problem are the police in America. You should have my trifold in your car. You should plead the fifth immediately. You should know every single word on this trifold. You should learn the law and know the law. You can get the trifold on deletelaws.com. Go to deletelaws.com. I have a $9 version that you print at home called a digital trifold. And then I got one I sell for 30 bucks that comes on this fancy ass paper. And then I give you this broccoli water rubber band and you keep everything in there. Everybody should have a trifold in your car. If you, your biggest problem are the cops.